Hey there, travelers. Today we'll be sharing a review of the Double Tree Park Vista Hotel in Gatlinburg and an overview of how we spent 24 hours in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Overall, we had a great time in this bustling town. The Park Vista staff was fast, efficient, and friendly. The hotel was busy and we found all facilities to be clean and updated. The hotel is nice enough for a couple's getaway, but really caters to families and groups. The hotel pool was a big hit with the kids. There was a relaxed, no rules type feel. There was also a small hot tub attached to the pool and a fully equipped workout facility. Our room had a great view of Gatlinburg and the mountains. The hotel was located just out of walking distance for Gatlinburg for our family, but the amenities, views, and slightly more luxurious feel made up for this inconvenience when compared to more centrally located options. We decided to forego the hotel shuttle into town. Instead, we parked at St. Mary's Church for only $5. Lunch was at Tennessee Jed's and we enjoyed walking around town. Next, we drove out to Grotto Falls, where parking was definitely a challenge. My husband dropped us off at the trailhead while he parked. The three-mile round-trip waterfall hike was not super easy, but none of our kids complained. It was shaded, cool, and really beautiful. Back in town, we grabbed dinner at Five Guys and stopped at the Old Smoky Distillery. Here we sampled moonshine and relaxed on their rocking chairs while a talented bluegrass band performed. The following morning, we enjoyed the hotel breakfast buffet with our included allowance. After a short drive into town, we parked at the Gatlinburg Trailhead. This flat, easy hike ends at the Sugarland Visitor Center. The center was limiting capacity, so we turned back and headed out to Klingman's Dome. The 45 minute drive to Klingman's Dome was pretty and the uphill hike was certainly a challenge. The clouds obstructed our view but the temperature was cool and the kids were intrigued as we walked through the clouds during our ascent. Be sure to download directions if you are traveling out of the area as cell service around Klingman's Dome is spotty at best. Our 24 hours in Gatlinburg were memorable, exciting, and left us wanting more. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more travel ideas, travel deals, reviews, and much more. Thanks for watching.